Hello and welcome back to another Reality Check VR video. That's right, we're going to be doing an unboxing, another unboxing. This time we're going to be doing the new Rift interfaces from VR Cover. That's right, VR Cover, if you're not already used to them, hey, what's going on? Um, we're going to switch you here to the other cam. This is a VR Cover. They make these really cool little covers there for your Rift, and I've used several different versions of them from time to time. Basically, I've been using a VR cover ever since the DK2, so it's just something that goes on the Rift, makes it feel a little bit more comfortable, and of course, if you're sweating, or if you, you know, you just, everybody's got grease on their face from time to time, so you can just wash this thing, and hey, it keeps the other materials in great shape. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this box over here. Okay, so you can see I've got the Rift here with a little attachment there. I was using that for actually adding this little camera on top of it. That way I could do some cool shots. But hey, it's still going to work just fine. So we're going to keep the Rift here, and we're going to open this guy up. Grab your knife. Hold it steady. One. Two pieces of tape. So you got to get both of them. Make sure you get both. And don't ever put that on your chair. You'll sit on it like I did last time. All right, get ready for this. What's going on in here? Ah! Put that down right there and bring that over there. So, as you can see, we've got some more rift covers here. This right here is going to be the same rift cover that I actually have um, on the piece right there. Okay, here we actually have some actual interface covers right there. Those are some extra ones that I certainly am going to be needing. And right here, we actually have something that is not for the rift per se, it is for the Gear VR. It's a Gear VR foam replacement waterproof. All right. Okay, so I've got the Gear VR right here. And there's all kinds of great pads that you can put on this thing. Um, VR padding's got a really, really nice pad that's made here in America. We've got uh, a pad by VRology, which has a really nice, comfortable pad. But we've also got VR cover pads, which, you know, are their own thing. So let's check those out. Open that up. Oh, and I can tell you, they are very different from anything else that I've seen so far. This is certainly a different style. It's all one piece, as you can see. The material is not the same as the other materials. The other materials are kind of, uh, I mean, they, they are what they kind of look like. I mean, when you look at this one, it's not a bad material at all. It's just, it's kind of, it, it's more, you can kind of hear it. Okay, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I don't know if that even makes a difference or not, but this is certainly a different design and you can see how it's kind of put together on the back there. So I'm going to try to put this on the Gear VR real quickly. You just got to make sure you get the side that's the, the side that can stick onto it. So there, there it is on the thing right there. Of course it kind of squishes around the edges right there, but that's the way it is. And let's try it on. Woo! All right. That's right, this is your VR waterproof cover. Really cool, so awesome. I appreciate having that, guys. I always need more of those, especially because I take this out quite often and I let other people try it all the time. Eventually, we're gonna have to make some video of a montage of all the people that have put on my Gear VR. It's too many, too many, scary. All right, so now we have the Rift interface right here. The Rift interface, can you believe it? Okay, are you ready for this? Okay, I'm opening it up, I'm opening it up. They designed this nice little graphic here these little, basically a template of outlines, you know, that shows the virtual reality stuff. And it's done significant things for their business as far as I'm concerned. Virtual reality hygiene solutions. They've got that cool shirt that, you know, I always get to wear. Of course, they've been putting it on everything. And it's, just, it's a really cool, very, very professional looking. I'm very happy to be using it. And here we go. Let's check it out. Opening up the Rift interface from VR Cover. Oh. This is going to change everything. So we've got these two Rift interfaces right here, and these are going to allow us to stick things on the Rift, which, if I'm correct, this might allow me to actually use the Velour ones for the Vive as well on my Rift. Too good to be true. Let's check it out. Okay, so these things are very tightly put into plastic. So. One thing that I was actually thinking about doing for a long time as well was once I got this 3D printer was to be trying to create some different interfaces. But hey, that takes a lot of, you know, R&D, a lot of time in, the, in your editing software and your 3D modeling. And, and of course, you've got a trial and error with your prints. So it's just a lot of time. 
and I, I really appreciate somebody else <laughs> more sophisticated doing such a thing. So here we honestly have something that I have been looking forward to for quite some time. There's probably one piece of tape that holds all that together, but I, I didn't find it. Okay, so there it is right here, and it's just, it's cool. It's going to fit right into the Rift. It's got that VR cover logo right there on the top of it, and this is not something that is 3D printed. This was mold injected, you could tell. And on the back here, we have this kind of a, a Velcro material, which allows me to put on different Velcro interfaces. So I'm going to be able to put on all kinds of different pieces of material and cloth for my Rift now. I can't wait to try it out. So long. There we go. Look at that. All right. I did it my second time and I got a much better fit on there. So looks good. All right. So here's how you take this part off. You just go ahead and pull the rift off. And what you do is I always put my thumb around that part and I just put my fingers up along here. So I usually put one in the middle, two along the edges right there. And when I've got all three fingers on top and one over here on the bottom. I just pull straight out. And there you go, you've got it right there in your hand. So there is the Rift cover right there. And of course this cover is still something that can go over this piece right here. So we can actually put a cover on a cover, which we will do here in a moment. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this guy around so you can see it. And to put this guy in here, it's very simple, same kind of a thing. I just put my fingers back up on top, put my one finger on the thumb uh, for the nose piece, and I just make sure it's aligned up on top, and I just push. And if you just push, Wow, it's already in. It's already there. It's working. Presto. There you go. You've got your new Rift interface. It says VR cover on the actual interface. And now we can put on multiple covers on this. And I can also use other covers for the Vive, such as, even though it's not 100% the same size, let me just see. Let me just see here. Let's push this guy in here. You see what I'm doing here? See what's going on? Now, everything that was fancy for the Vive, I now have for my Oculus Rift, the most comfortable pad that there is, the velour one. All right, and I can take this puppy, stick him just like this, put him on over here, and stick him in. <laughs> there we go, cool. There is the Oculus Rift with my velour pad, looking awesome freaking sweet like a comfy pillow in there and I've got multiple rifts or rift replacements and what's great is because I have multiples of these when I'm in public places doing demonstrations or doing development type things I can actually just have different pads for different people and just change them out very quickly and actually be cleaning one while I'm letting somebody else play so that's gonna be a very very efficient and nice thing to have all right I'm gonna put that down okay so just for the final result here I'm gonna try it on with the rift interface so comfy so comfy this is something that works great. Uh, it's flush, it fits in there just fine. It does not get in the way of anything. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I highly recommend you get these interfaces if you're into doing any kind of showings with multiple people, or if you are somebody who likes to you know, customize your comfort, this is something you're gonna want to have. And, and as, as much as I could sit there and try to 3D print devices like this, something that's got the Velcro all in one and is all just designed nicely and fits perfectly, I mean, come on. That's just exactly what we've been needing. So awesome, awesome work. I've really, really, really enjoyed this stuff that has come from the VR cover team. Uh, when it comes to these Rift interfaces that are just freaking bomb for doing all kinds of customizations as well as you know showcasings of the technology, it's very, very effective and well needed as well as this interface that I've been using for a while now, which is still somewhat new. Uh, it's been helping me a lot with this cover on there. So you guys have been doing a fantastic job. I can't thank you enough. I really can't wait to see what you guys do in the future with the continuing headsets and, and the way the technology is always moving forward with all this stuff. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video review unboxing. I will be doing a lot more gameplay as well as development projects and maybe even some tutorials on how to, to do some of that stuff in the very, very short future. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Later. Thank you.